Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something called a therapy clean, where I just clean all the parts of my house that really bother me and are just something dirty. And I'm going to do it all in one day so that I can feel really good about my house by the end of the day. What I'm going to start off with is the area where my cat eats. She makes such a huge mess while she eats, <laughs> poor little thing. Um, anyways, this is an area that I pretty much have to clean every single day. It is always so messy. She is such a sweet little thing though, so I'm totally okay with cleaning up after her. So here's me just moving all this stuff, and first I'm just going to vacuum it up. And after that, I'm just going to give it a good wipe down because this is an area that I see very easily when I walk in my kitchen and that's partially why it bothers me so much. So when this area is clean, it just takes a weight off my shoulders and makes me feel a lot better. Okay, so this is the second area that just always bothers me. It's the dish drain. It just gets so dirty so fast. So I am going to give it a good scrubbing. You can see that there's hair and gunk on it. And it's definitely one of those spots that I don't clean enough, but I always think about it because I know it's there. It might not be visible to everybody all the time, but it's something that I think about and just absolutely bothers me. So when this thing is clean, I really feel like a lot better about my kitchen and just more relaxed in general. So I'm just giving it a scrubbing down with just some soap and water, cleaning every little place on this thing. I also feel like it creates an icky smell when um, the bottom of your dish drain is gross. So when it's clean, I just feel like uh, we don't have that gross mildew smell and it just feels so much better. I'm just gonna put all the pieces back on it now that it's nice and clean. Yay. Okay, so this is the trash can. Uh, this area, I absolutely hate how dirty it gets. And it gets pretty dirty pretty quickly. So this is probably something I have to do. Uh, I should be doing it once a week, honestly, but sometimes I only do it like once every three weeks. So you can see there's just uh, dirt and there's stuff on the wall. Like when people are scraping their plates, it's like some of the food like flies off the plate. I don't even know guys. And it lands on the wall and on the floor and it just grosses me out. I just always feel like this area is so disgusting. There's pieces of food on the wall, and it just is one of those spots that really bothers me. Every time I'm throwing something away, I think about it. There's always cardboard boxes by the trash can, and they don't belong there. So I'm just going to give this a good clean and tidying up, even vacuuming the edges on the wall, um, the trim and everything, and I'm going to completely wipe down the wall and the trim too, so I can feel good about it. And it's just going to make me feel so much more at ease when this area is clean. Um, just having an icky place, uh, icky place like this, you know, nice and clean, it just makes you feel so much better. And for this, I'm just using the uh, Mayer's Lavender Spray. It just smells nice. It doesn't have a lot of harsh chemicals in it but it does smell nice and I didn't find that anything was too hard to get up so I didn't really need to use um, any harsh chemicals or anything like that. And I'm wiping down the trash can too because the inside of that gets so disgusting. And then the outside of the trash can you can see like a drip on the stainless steel. That happens so easily because we're all scraping our plates into there so I'm just gonna wipe that down as well. And now the area is nice and clean, and I feel so much better about it. So here is where my cat goes to the bathroom. This is where I keep her litter box. And this area is always absolutely disgusting. Cat litter just goes everywhere. And since the cat litter box is off the ground, it goes under this little box, which drives me nuts. You can also see where the hair just deposits back there. It just gets under any cages I have for animals and things like that. So I just really need to give this a good cleaning and it's been just absolutely bothering me thinking that it's so dirty. 
under there so I'm gonna feel so good now that it's gonna be nice and clean I'm just vacuuming it up and you know I moved the box so that I could vacuum underneath it and now I am going to go in the inside and vacuum that as well because it is so dusty from the cat litter I am gonna give it a good wipe down as well so much better We just return the box and now it is so much better okay I feel like this is one thing that bothers everybody and they always feel like they need to clean it and they just don't do it sometimes the oven um, I know I should have one of those oven liners at the bottom and I do plan on putting one after I clean it this time so that cleanup is much easier but since I didn't have one I went ahead and sprayed it down with the easy off oven cleaner I did let that cleaner sit for an hour and a half like the instructions say to or you can leave it overnight but for this video since I wanted to do this all in one day I went ahead and left it for only an hour and a half and then because I left it for only an hour and a half it was a little bit harder to get burnt on food off so I got my scraper out and I just went to town on every molecule of burnt on food in here so and all of this burnt on food is definitely from cooking pizzas directly on the rack rather than a pizza pan because they just come out so much more crispy if I cook them on the rack and this is definitely why the bottom of my oven is so dirty so I can't wait to finally put in here a oven liner so that I can prevent this from being such a difficult cleanup I'm just scraping off the window as well because there was some splashed on food there too. I'm wiping it down so it'll be nice and clean. And if you guys have any cleaning tips for this or things you know that'll make it easier, then please comment below and just let everybody know because I will try your tips out and hopefully other people will too that might see your comment. I'm just going at it again because last time I didn't scrape enough of it off. So I got a little tired of it, went ahead and did the door and then I'm trying this again. And I was able to luckily get most of it off. It's much shinier and much cleaner than when I started. And I also do go back in with a just regular wet washcloth and I try to make sure I get all of that spray off because I don't want this, you know, cooking into my food. After I did all that, it came out so much cleaner than it originally was. And it just felt so much better. So the outside's cleaner, the inside's cleaner, and here's what it looked like before. And so now I'm gonna wash this part of the toilet and the floor. I feel like this spot always gets so dirty, and I have a five-year-old boy and a husband <laughs> and I just always feel like it might have some urine on it and you know it always gets dusty and gross so I'm just cleaning that up with a disinfectant and a scrub brush and wiping it down after that was finally clean I went ahead and started on my toothbrush holder guys these get so gross and I should be cleaning these more often but as you can see, I waited way too long, and so they got really dirty. Before this, I had sprayed some disinfectant inside and let it sit for a while, and then I just went ahead and cleaned it with an old toothbrush that I use for cleaning and a bar of soap. It's so hard to see in this one because of it has those holes, so I can't really get the camera in there very well, but it was so much cleaner after I was done. 
and you can see very well in this one. I was using that to hold toothbrushes as well and it's so much cleaner now. So next I'm just cleaning under the couch. A bunch of toys, dust, and dirt get under there so it really just needed to be all cleaned out and taken care of and vacuumed and it felt so much better once that was done. Thank you guys for watching my video. I felt so relaxed and calm after I was done cleaning all these areas and it felt so good. Please like and subscribe. And once again, thank you guys. I'll see you next time.